We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I'm your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, ladies and gentlemen, Songs of Conquest continue now. All right, we know there's rat creatures on the other side of the old uh, portal. I'm not opposed to maybe dipping over there and then coming back just to kill the one group that's hanging out. Just let's just take a peek. There's a lot of them. Insignificant. All right, according to this, this should be easy. Oh, well, that is just wonderful news. Did not even realize that that was a thing that could happen, if I'm being 100% honest. That's pretty sweet. Uh, Alright, we're getting Glimmer Weave Purr. I think we're good. We got another Talisman, this one of Chaos, which probably gives us one Chaos uh, thingy. Two. Two Chaos Essence per. We just start with two Order and two Chaos. Wow, we are very balanced. In that regard. I suppose I could move up and do some other things. I didn't really want to trigger whatever this is, but maybe that's a good idea? I don't I don't know. I kinda wanna deal with the imminent threat that's coming that we are aware of at this point, and I I think I'm going to. I believe that is going to be our play. Uh, I do need to once again. Tri oh, oh, are we? Are we uh, was is it? Was it for two turns? Oh, uh, I, I suppose we can look. Oh yeah, yeah, one more, one more battle. All right, then. Plus, I think this one. Yeah, for one battle. Okay, okay. okay. We visited it, it, that. We're going to try to avoid going down there. Because I assume it's going to break some stuff. Our weapon rack has a weapon rack. Yep, we know. Uh, one movement. Two to movement for one turn. Alright, burning stone. Oh. Well. I suppose that's fine. All right, round 20 is hitting. I don't know what round it was that chaos happened last time. So, you know, that. In the year 2 BA, Baron Gaius of Loth did kneel before Aurelia, recognizing her as leader, uh, as the leader Arleon needed to usher in an age of peace. Aurelia favored Loth for her for their steadfast loyalty. May our union be everlasting. Well, that seems useful. This just says it's a large settlement. I wasn't gonna go here, but this is Oakhaven. I seem to be okay. Oh uh oh. Outside the settlement of Oakhaven stood a familiar wielder, Roderick of Loth, a man whose code of honor was respected by all. I thought we were going to have to go further. This just seemed to like an abandoned situation. Alright, well, whatever. Roderick, it's been some time. How wonderful to see you. But please tell me you have the required tribute. Celia will not be happy if there are more delays. Ah, uh, we've had some trouble with the Barians, and I do not have the tribute, but... Baron Aldous of Loth has sent me to offer the settlement of Oakhaven and all its income for the next year as compensation. Roderick, I'm not sure this will be enough. You must make your Baron understand that if he doesn't provide the tribute and the levy, Cecilia will be forced to act the way her father did with old Lord Hammond. The Barony of Loth is always ready to defend the interest of her allies. Baron Aldous has been alerted to the faith threat and is already on his way with a great host to deal with any resistance to the peaceful and prosperous uh, Arleon. Uh, peace and prosperity. Like in the days of the Empress Aurelia, I long for that as well. But first, we must deal with the Fae. Will you join me? I must hasten to guide the Baron through the woods, but I would count it an honor to fight side by side in the conflict to come. Farewell, Parody. Safe travels, Roderick. May your essence flow. All right, well.
Well, well, well. I mean, we can definitely do some upgrades. We have a medium build site now, which means that we could do a marketplace if we wanted to get trade. Or we could start getting knights, but that requires us to have a peasant hut, which I'm not necessarily opposed to. But we can get all our, our things set all the way to... Hmm. And we can do a rally point. I think we do the rally point, honestly. Not not yet. After we deal with whatever chaos is coming. And then we can pull everybody down here. That'll allow us to get the... Is it the lumber mill? Hold on, let, 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 me, let me look. I, I don't... Uh, Alright, let's actually go peek. Back up at our town over here. I should just click at the bottom, I know. Uh, this, this is what I need to see. We need the lumber mill in order to upgrade the barracks. So, yeah. So we could do that, or we could drop our peasants, but our peasants have already been upgraded. Mm. It's kind of a tough one, back and forth. I could upgrade it again, immediately? Okay, I mean, I don't, I don't see why not. I, I assume we get more money for doing that. And then we have the large build site. I guess the Grand Armory sounds like the better play. So we'll do that. And I guess I probably not the smartest move because we could have gotten more troops going a different route. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. So we must we must deal with it. Okay, we're going to snag this. We are going to... Head back up this way. We'll end our turn. Tender while suddenly grew cold. Ah, I really could sense it. Something had risen. Alright, so we know Spooky, spooky Man's is coming. We shall draft our all of our troops that we can. We need more of the peasantry, uh, more of the archery, or the uh, melee a tree, or a re or whatever. Okay. So peasants and archers are all that remain that we have not acquired yet. Let's go snag this, which I apparently forgot to do. Visit this site. At this spring, Empress Aurelia welcomed the people of the Western Province to swear the oath of fealty and be welcomed into the bosom of the Empire. May her rule be long and peaceful, or, or sorry, and peace be everlasting. We don't, we don't want her to have a peaceful time. That just seems silly. Who, who would ever want that? Okay. This is for two turns. And I know he's going to show up next turn. Oh, there's like a town right there. My goodness. I've made like all the wrong choices so far. Eh, it's, it's fine. Now I don't know what to do, honestly, over here. I, I'm now also hesitant to expand to the west because I don't know what's over there. But I know we have this already, so we can actually see a little bit. The road led out of the Tender Wild and toward the Barony of Loth, but now was not the time to visit the vassal of Stoutheart. The western province from Ashbourne to Windshade must first be restored. Oh, good. So is this literally the end of the map? Okay, no path is available. Uh, okay. So this whole section of the map is now clear for us. We got some spooky stuff up there. And we got some spooky stuff over here. Uh, a little bit of banditry and so on and so forth down at the bottom that we can deal with. I think once we deal with the, the, the obvious threat coming to murder us here, I think we could probably start buffing up our secondary guy because, uh, yeah, he's not getting a lot of levels, unfortunately. Oh, uh, boy. He tagged this already, right? Yeah. 
Is there is there anything he didn't visit that is experience based? Did he visit the pool? He didn't. He doesn't. He didn't visit the pool. I don't remember what that does. Archway portal. I don't remember what that does either. To be honest, I think it just gave us equipment, but I, I, I don't don't remember. Mm. Well, that's neither here nor there. Uh, that is a worthy threat. That is a futile struggle for us to even attempt. Wait, with 11, that's only worthy? I feel like that should crush our souls. I guess I'm happy it, it's not doing that, but... It didn't show up yet, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna take the gold. I don't know that I want to go up there. Alright, I'm going up there. As the Stathart troops approached Windshade, they could see armed militia and barricades. The residents of Windshade had been preparing for a fight. A grizzled old guard strode over and saluted. Despite his recent wounds, he proudly reported the status of the settlement. Lady Cecilia, you came. Wasn't sure we were going to hold against another attack. We haven't seen Faye in this number since my grandfather's day. We came as soon as we could, veteran. You've done well here. We'll hunt down this storm spire and bring order back to Windshade. That's gonna be mighty hard, milady. There's rumors from all over of skeletons, rats, and creatures we've never heard of attacking peaceful villages. Folks are afraid to venture out from these walls. Windshade will be our base of strength, and we'll soon bring order back to these lands. Fae and their, their foul beasts are no match for Stoutheart. Stoutheart will stand. Indeed. All right, what do you got for me? Nothing that I can use yet. Returned dead, huh? Well, once again, I am going to fall back in hopes that we are prepared for the upcoming uh, battle. We are nearly maxed out on troops, and that feels pretty okay. Uh, we got one more round of building, so at this point we can't build anything, because the build queue is full. Makes total sense. I suppose he can go there. Alright, show up, sneaky boy. There he is. Now the real question is, do we meet him, or do we stay in our town? I feel like maybe we garrison the town. That's something we didn't do last time. And while I don't know that we need to do that this time, um, I'm going to try it and see if that helps. Maybe it could have turned the tide last time. I mean, I doubt it, but, you know, maybe it could have. Oh, we could upgrade this settlement, too. Didn't even realize... All right, uh, this one I want uh, money, so farm. And is this movement? It's probably movement. It is movement. All right, we're gonna go here. Hey, we leveled up, great. We need more command for sure. That might also be more experience. All right. Let's end the turn and <clears throat> see exactly what is going to happen after we decipher what we're going to do. I think I can upgrade the town again. So we have one large one. We can do the academy. Which I don't think I'm going to do right away. The guard tower, what do they do? It defends them with garrisons and a ballista. which we don't have because we have to upgrade in order to do that. So we have these guys as our garrison, but we could definitely get more people. We have a peasant hut, which gives us some more militia. 
And then we have the medium ones that can give us the barracks, which I guess is what we're going to build up right now. Okay. <clears throat> I think we're ready. Um, maybe. Maybe we're ready. Okay, that's fine. And... This got finished building? Oh, okay. Okay. Melee... I think we do ranged. And then we got to come up with a new build site. Which we can't afford now because of we spent all of our gold. Nice. I was concerned that we wouldn't be able to... The huge bean and ancient armor of Aurelian Empire. Uh-huh. Uh, lead an army unlike anything seen before in Arleon. Even the birds grew quiet as uh, it approached uh, Cecilia Stoutheart. But, okay, we, we, we've done this before. I'm excited to have a second go, my god. Go at this. We we can fall back. We, we do have more oomph than we did before. So that's good, at least. I think maybe we do it that way. And then we try to hold the line here. I don't know that putting this guy in the front is the best plan, but it's what I'm going to do. Why do I have one of these guys? Huh. Well. That seems a little silly. Alright, well, it gave us a lot more options on how to approach the battle. Oh, we could we could literally stop them in their tracks if we wanted to. That actually feels pretty incredible. I didn't realize it looked like this. But it's going to funnel them, right? They're going to have to go through here or through here. I don't I don't, I don't like that he's the one in the front. Oh, whatever. That felt pretty good. That didn't feel all that great. Okay, we're gonna do that. And we're gonna do this. Oh, not who I thought you were gonna hit. Okay, that was who I thought you were gonna hit. I'm fine with that. I think we're doing okay. I mean, we've definitely lost some stuff. All right, so what do we have here? Oh, my God. Troop gets plus one to attack. I thought it said all troops, but that, that's fine. Initiative. What's the buff there? What does this do? Untargetable. Okay. Just want to make sure that we've got the highest chance of defeating that guy as possible. Okay, I think we're good. We got the double attack. That was, oh, that was incredible. That was so nice. I think it just dies to the... to the bugs, doesn't it? It has Insect Swarm on it. Insect Swarm does 5 damage. I want to say on their turn. And he's only got one health. Yeah, I don't I don't need to attack him. I'll just do the music. Oh, I didn't think he'd be able to reach. That's okay. Three 
reloading. You know what? I'll run it. We'll take him down. Oh, we didn't quite get it. Oh, it didn't. It didn't tick out to the pestilence. Oh, well, whatever. Didn't really. Didn't really do anything extra there. All right. Minimal losses. Absolutely crushed it. It's the dif the, the difference between being prepared and, and knowing. And not knowing, also not making terrible, horrible misjudgments at the beginning of the of the level, and then having to sit around for weeks to recover. This uh, night and day, really. Out of the battle, the armor of the undead wielder was examined, but nothing could be found within. Whatever animated it was gone. I think um, it was probably the the best idea so far to actually defend within the town itself. I think that was a very good idea. Oh, and you know what? That's what it was. These dudes actually show up inside the uh, defense. So we had one more troop than we normally would have. Oh, that's really cool. So I hadn't we hadn't done this yet. This is not a thing that we had uh, we had seen before or had done. So very nice. All right. By and large, honestly, we we did fine there. That was uh, was not a a massive deal. So two more archers or rangers, um, and then yeah, no, this this seems fine. Let's see what we can draft here. Okay, we finished them off. We still got a ways to go on those boys, and that finishes off that. I think we're we're set really. Fantastic. All right, I'm super happy that one as well as it did. Uh, let's get you up here, my friend. And let's get you to probably head up that way and see if you can't kill some, some stuff. I'm going to have Cecilia wander down and meet with you. She's probably going to give you the bow. She's going to give you the bow. Or, or I mean, you had the bow. We're, we're going to have you use the crossbow. Could be a mistake. I'm not entirely certain, but that's what we're going to roll with. Uh, okay, so we're going to give you one group of those boys. Uh-huh, we're going to give you two groups of archers. We're going to give you a shield boy. And we're going to give you our upgraded troubadours. And that is going to do it for your little group currently. And we shall probably head back and start amassing more forces. Though I also sort of want to go down here in order to get some of the things that we haven't gotten yet. And at this point, we should have enough to build our, our lumber mill. We'll start with that. Okay, we're getting a sizable chunk of money each turn. The undead was defeated at round 23. Oh, oh, we did whatever that was. Okay, so that was an objective. Nice. All right, uh, I suppose we tag this. Gives us a little bit of extra movement. Uh, we'll hit this on our way. We'll hit this on our way. And we'll not be able to tag that, which is fine. All right, he's set up, right? He's like fully stacked. He is. Okay, there's our extra movement. That feels kind of important. No need to pray before a battle has been had. Oh, apparently we, we already did that. Oh, well, that's awkward. We'll, we'll get that stuff later. I, I'm more interested in down here right now, to be honest. Uh, I do want a barracks. Build it. And we'll see how that goes. I know I could be more economically less bad, but I'm not, so deal with it. <laughs> it's it's fine, but still. Alright, two movement. Five offense. We could have gone through the portal, that is true. It would have been a little bit quicker. Initiative, movement, all that. Alright. There's a burning runestone. Eh, it's, it's fine. Alright. Uh, we want the thousand. 
Oh, absolutely ranged. Though the attunement for magic is actually very, very, very nice to see. Okay, this seems like we should be able to win this. I imagine there will be some backlash. We're going to lose some people. Floating ghost-like beings in tattered robes guard the, guarded the mines. With unexpected speed, they soared toward the stout heart troops who held their ground bravely. Spectres, you are not her. Which her are we talking about? Stormspire? Durant, they're attacking. Well... Okay, something like that. Hopefully this works out. It very well may not. Ah, I see. I think they can fly over the water. I bet they can fly over the water. Alright, we will sing a song for those people. Oh, they cannot. Oh, that's wonderful news. Okay, well, I'm going to put that there. You all are going to be annoying. I will stack up here. Plop that there. And then go here. I will... Promptly remove some of you from existence. As you do seem to be the primary problem maker. We have a lot of magic. Like, just a lot of magic. That we are throwing out here. Alright. Okay, I can finish you off and reload, which is wonderful. I can dump that there. I can put you here. Okay. We're going to check our spells. We can do this again. Which is not necessarily the best, but honestly, it's probably fine. That's unfortunate. Um, just in case. Okay, I should be able to move here and then still shoot at you, taking you down. I know hitting the other guy would have been a better use of our overall tools, but we're trying very hard not to let them actually hit us in any way, shape, or form. So doing what we're doing seems to be the better overall plan, as they must continue to waste their efforts. This is a wonderful spell, by the way. I know we have like a thousand other spells, like what the heck is this? Oh, alright, well, we win. Okay, it was one one troop out of the targeted group, not the entire or targeted troop. Okay. Okay, we have swap. What is this? Ethereal scales? It's crazy. We have a lot of spells, like a lot, a lot. Hundred percent essence? I don't what does that mean? Oh, they get a 100% bon bonus to the stuff that they produce, I understand. So essentially they, they get double the essence that they normally would. The Psychic Spear does 15 damage. That sounds good. Let's hit them with that. And then let's uh, end them. Alright, well, I mean, that could have been a nastier battle. This guy is getting a lot more... Uh, again, he's not been in combat and he's been collecting buffs for God only knows how long at this point. Uh, so... He's rocking a lot of extra stuff coming in every single turn in combat. So you can't really, really, you know, count them out there. Alright. We will claim that. We will get the gold. And, hmm. I guess we can go back to 
town down here and grab some stuff. We can get rangers coming through. I do kind of want a secondary front line group, so that seems like maybe the play. Yeah, I think so. All right, we're going to head down there. Meanwhile, our lady has already done all that she can. I don't really remember what I was going to do with her, but fine. I think she was just wandering around because she could. Oh, yeah, she's, she's definitely going to go and upgrade her, uh, her troops. She didn't have enough money to upgrade the third group, which is interesting. Why not? Because it's very expensive, apparently. All right. Well, um, yeah, we can go through the portal. And we can all meet up here in a minute and get some upgrades going. Some more of these. Oh. Oh, good. Where? Huh. Okay. Well. Well, that has changed things a little bit. I'm going to swap with you there. Yep. We're basically going to put the army back the other way. Okay, I think that's fine. Yeah, that looks that looks okay. Alright. Now, Aurelia or not Aurelia. Sorry, Stoutheart, Cecilia. Is gonna go get some stuff done. Uh, we can upgrade a lot of stuff, but again, not the most money we've ever had. It's fine, and we are going to defend with the wielder. Meanwhile, I guess you can lurk in the at the periphery, because we do want more upgrades. Now... Thinking about this, what do I need? I know we're not ready for it yet. The marketplace might be a good idea. Trade resources and such, so we could start selling some of the things that we have an abundance of. But, at the same time, I'm not so certain. All the small ones are already out. I don't know that we necessarily need the guard towers. We could tear those down. Like, there's some options available to us. All right, let's do one more turn, take this battle, and then call it. A massive horned one led a large party of fey. Human, you've gone too far. We will stop your onslaught on nature. It is you that go too far. I will not allow the fey to harm my subjects further. Return to the deep woods or face the consequences. All these words, they will not serve you. I could not call off my Horned Ones if I wanted to. Their rage is too great. Prepare yourselves. Mm-hmm. I mean, okay. What if we swapped you two? I think that might be the play. Maybe. I don't know. Let's find out. This might be a terrible positioning. Oh, yeah, I would have I would have not had him there. Uh, that's kinda dumb on my part. Well, a little late now. They'll only get hit by the one guy, but yeah, I expected it to be pretty nasty. Oh. What does that mean? 
attack the first enemy. Oh, all right, all right. I have the ability to ambush stuff. That's that's true. I mean, we're gonna guarantee kill that guy, and then we're gonna take this guy and do as much as we can. Yeah, I know. I know our bards were not long for this world. There was uh, some definitive uh, issues we were faced with there. This is our whole group. I'm fine with losing a few folks here, if need be. If needs be. I also believe that you are the correct thing to finish off. Yep, that's that's a good that's a good plan. Alright, we got nothing. And we can definitely take you down. Oh. Uh, I don't know what that did exactly, nor do I particularly care, but whatever. Alright. Goodbye, fey creatures. How dare you battle us? Alright, so some losses. Uh, again, not having the the stupid minstrel out front would have been a good idea. Oh, I see. Now you're taunting me. We're definitely gonna put that on our other guy because I'm not gonna give up my ranged bonuses. But still, so we lost three quarters of one footman group, and we lost the entirety of our troubadours. I, I'm okay with that. Defeated, Gnaw stepped across the battlefield, nostrils flaring at the dead horned ones littering the ground. I underestimated you. Your powers are great indeed. You fought with honor. There is no honor in what has occurred in these lands. I will spare your life if you agree to take a message to your people and let this be an end to this violence. There is wisdom in your words. May the essence of creation light your path. Ooh, we can increase taxes. That does sound fantastic. Oh, woodcutter, though? No, we're going command. I like that there are uh, some economic options in our uh, leveling up tree. Okay, uh, that might have might have been the last big ambush attack coming our way, but I don't rightly know. I think we're going to break it right here. Uh, I just wanted to survive that battle. We did. Uh, I think the next uh, episode, maybe two? Probably one. Um, again, maybe two. Uh, will be our uh, cleanup episodes where we just go through and we slaughter everything and we play a little bit of catch up on a Paradigm because he is behind quite a bit. So, yeah, makes sense. All right, folks, till the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer. <laughs>